How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. So he turned blind? Yes. He was still yelling at me when the car hit him. You're lying, Lorna. You pushed him in front of the car. If you think you can prove that, I suggest you arrest me now. I would have loved to push him under a car many a time, but not this time. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? Admit it. You were baiting him, pushing his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. I'm gonna need more than that. Like I said, Lester was a great guy when he was winning. A really sunny, bright guy. Trouble was, he hardly ever won. And when he lost, he was an evil son of a bitch. Don't lie to me. Something was different this time. <laughs> You're clutching at straws. You married? The arguments are never any different. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? You increased the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a $10,000 payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crack games, pinochle, you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run detective. I thought Lester gambled all your money. I made sure he didn't get his hands on it. Sabo has no money. This place can't be worth much. Where is the money coming from? My father left me this house and some money. Lester took out a second mortgage. I held on to the money and kept my mouth shut. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. You're being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? You really don't have any idea, do you? You're making a royal fool of yourself here.